Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got during our half trading day of June 19, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a weak opportunity to buy financial sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 8.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $24.43. For call option, a possible call price is at $0.62. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell healthcare sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $100.8. For put option, a possible put price is at $2.12. Energy sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Simon Property Group. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 6.8%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $64.1. For put option, a possible put price is at $5.81. Crown Castle was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Crown Castle is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 3.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $167.46, but we expect a possible sell price of $172.86. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $162.39. On the call option table, Crown Castle has a striking price at $160.
For this option, the actual call price is at $9.8, but we expect a possible call price at $7.58. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the very high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Merck Incorporated. You can observe. It has an expected sell return of 7.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $77.03. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.13. Merck Incorporated is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 7.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $77.03. But we expect a possible sell price of $78.72. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Merck Incorporated. If it is over 3.70% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Merck Incorporated has a striking price at $79. For this option, the actual put price is at $3.23, but we expect a possible put price at $1.13. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy General Electric. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 12.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $7.43. For call option, a possible call price is at $0.42. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell United Parcel Service. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $108.23. For put option, a possible put price is at $2.31. General Electric was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that General Electric is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 12.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $8.24. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $7.26. On the call option table, General Electric has a striking price at $7. For this option, the actual call price is at $0.42 but we expect a possible call price at $0.42. Waste management is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 2.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 5.0%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $106.2, but we expect a possible buy price of $104.11. In addition, we suggest to stop buying waste management, if it is below 4.40% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, waste management has a striking price at $104. For this option, the actual call price is not available but we expect a possible call price at $1.11. Material sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell.
let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Sherwin-Williams. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $581.85. For put option, a possible put price is at $7.36. Sherwin-Williams was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Sherwin-Williams is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of 4.0 percent. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $566.35. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $599.08. On the put option table, Sherwin-Williams has a striking price at $605. For this option, the actual put price is at $26.75. But we expect a possible put price at $7.36. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy General Motors. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $27.86. For call option, a possible call price is at $0.83. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Amazon Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $2,652.96. For put option, a possible put price is at $53.22. Amazon Incorporated was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Amazon Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.5%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $2,638.96 but we expect a possible buy price of $2,565.5. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $2,719.09. On the put option table, Amazon Incorporated has a striking price at $2,805. For this option, the actual put price is not available, but we expect a possible put price at F General Motors was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that General Motors is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 5.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $28.23. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $27.11. On the call option table. General Motors has a striking price at $27. For this option, the actual call price is at $0.71, but we expect a possible call price at $0.83. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Kraft Heinz Company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 8.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $33.55. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.63. Colgate Palmolive is a strong sell suggestion. 
It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.9%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $74.7, but we expect a possible sell price of $75.66. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Colgate Palmolive if it is over 3.85% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Colgate Palmolive has a striking price at $76. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.07, but we expect a possible put price at $0.85. Costco Wholesale is a weak sell suggestion. It is on a bare normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.7%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $300.63, but we expect a possible sell price of $306.99. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Costco wholesale. If it is over 1.40% of your stock price trade, on the put option table, Costco Wholesale has a striking price at $310. For this option, the actual put price is at $10.85, but we expect a possible put price at $5.19. Mondelez International is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $52.8, but we expect a possible sell price of $54.46. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Mondelez International if it is over 4.05% of your stock price trade on the put option table. Mondelez International has a striking price at $55. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.37, but we expect a possible put price at $1.15. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Alphabet Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $1,451.54. For call option, a possible call price is at $25.31. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Microsoft Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $193.31. For put option, a possible put price is at $4.71. Alphabet Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Alphabet Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 5.7%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $1,523.22. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $1,423.42. On the call option table, Alphabet Incorporated has a striking price at $1,410. For this option, the actual call price is at $33.9, but we expect a possible call price at $25.31. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. 
our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Verizon Communications was the previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Verizon Communications is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.8%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $56.5, but we expect a possible buy price of $56.1. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $57.33. On the put option table, Verizon Communications has a striking price at $59. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.76, but we expect a possible put price at $1.14. Utility Sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Duke Energy. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $87.33. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.96. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Duke Energy is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.0%. You may expect now a buy return of 4.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $87.33, but we expect a possible buy price of $85.01. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Duke Energy if it is below 4.55% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Duke Energy has a striking price at $85. For this option, the actual call price is at $2.55, but we expect a possible call price at $2.96. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good update of our half trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.